I've had some good days and I've had some hills to climb I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights but when I look around and I think things over all of my good days outweigh my bad days I won't complain sometimes the clouds hang low so low I can hardly see the road then I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me, though my weary eyes, they cannot see. So I just say thank you, Lord. I won't complain, cause God, he's been good to me. He's been mighty good to me. More than this world could ever be.
I won't complain. Yes. Hallelujah. Turn my midnights into day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We stand to our feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, hallelujah, and his mercy is everlasting, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And his truth endures to all generations. trying to get it started right. and you know I was coming in and, and and she said she walked in a dead church hallelujah and she God told her to do something anything right. and she looked at him and said Zion oh Zion what's the matter now <laughs> said we don't pray like we used to pray Zion <laughs> We don't sing like we used to sing. But Michael sang this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Fathers, again, that we come to you humbly saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you for an early morning rise. Thank you for being able to move our lips. Even just to say thank you is a blessing. Father, we thank you for all your grace and your mercy. And Father, we ask that you would show up, show out, and make our heart conducive to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
23rd song in unison. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord.
this time we have the scripture reading of our own pastor, Egram Bay, after with prayer by Deaconess Timberlake. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Our scripture lesson is in the letter of 2 John. 2 John, and we'll be reading the, from the first chapter, the first eight verses. 2 John, chapter 1. Well, there's only one chapter. And uh, so, John, 2 John, chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. For the truth's sake which dwelleth in us, and shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we should love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. This is the word of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Thank you for your grace and your mercy you shed upon us. Lord, we just thank you for everything you put us through and bring us through, Heavenly Father, because we know you're in control of every situation. God, we thank you for your son, Jesus. And Jesus, we thank you for shedding your blood on Calvary, Lord, because without your blood, I don't know where some of us might wind up. Lord, we just love you and praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Lord, you said we have not because we ask not. I'm asking all these things in your name, Heavenly Father, that you touch each and every one of us here, Lord. Those that are on the way, Heavenly Father, those who could not make it today, we thank you for touching us from that crown of our head to the soles of our feet, Heavenly Father, healing every blood vessel, blood vessel, muscle, tissue, and bone and anything heavenly father we thank you lord for your healing power lord we thank you heavenly father that we know what we do for you heavenly father will only last yes. anything that's done in vain heavenly father does not matter lord we worship and praise you yes. everything we do for you lord should be for your glory heavenly father it has nothing to do with us Lord, we just love you and praise your name. We thank you for blessing our pastor, Heavenly Father, and his wife and his family. Lord, we thank you that you're going to put us all on one accord, Heavenly Father, that we will all, all of us, Lord, will have see and, and participate in our pastor's vision, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because we know a house divided cannot stand. And we just thank you for your many blessings, Heavenly Father. We just thank you. You just bless us each and every day. And some of us might not even take the time to say thank you. But we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, because you are so worthy of all the praises and honor. Hallelujah, Lord. We just praise your holy name. Lord, I thank you. I just thank you for waking me up this morning, Heavenly Father, for waking us all up, Heavenly Father, for us being in the midst again. Heavenly Father, you were so, just so worthy. Lord, we just can't explain. There's no words that can explain how awesome you are. 
You bring us through so many trials and so many tribulations, Lord. And we take so many things for granted, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just ask you to please continue to watch over us, put our guardian angels over us, Lord. Because we know we will be able to do nothing without you. Lord, thank you for touching each and every heart, soul, and mind in Union Baptist Temple in Atlantic City this morning, Heavenly Father. For watching over our families and our extended families. For touching the hearts and souls and the minds of our children, Heavenly Father. Lord, we know if we bring them to church that you will not let them stray. They will return unto you. But Heavenly Father, touch those who do not know you. Give them wisdom and knowledge. Lord, we just praise your holy name. Lord, I just thank you. I can't say thank you enough, Lord. You bring us through so many things, Lord. We just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are so worthy. Yes, you are, Lord. And we just send out all these praises to you, Heavenly Father. In your son's precious name, amen.
down and ease your plan. How you led your children out with your mighty hand. I can't forget what you've done for me. How you set my soul free from slavery. I never what you've done. I never how you set me free. I never how you brought me out. I never. seen him do for others we shouldn't forget because everything that he's done for others he's also done for us praise the Lord let us pray our Father and our God it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we have assembled here this day Lord we come before your throne again this time we come to say thank you thank you for what you've already done for us Thank you for what you promised that we can walk in. Thank you for opening our eyes that we can see your love and your care for us. Father, we thank you that we have an opportunity to invest in the life of someone else. We thank you for receiving from us. This offering is in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
come on, be your Lord. in the house one more time. I have your announcements with me. Before I begin, I have a cell phone that someone left in the back. I have a cell phone that someone misplaced and left in the back. Wait a minute, I will hold on to it. Oh, I have quite a few announcements, please bear with me. <clears throat> Amen. The advisory board meeting is scheduled for Monday, April 27th at 6 p.m., followed by the church meeting at 7 p.m. All members are encouraged to come out to attend the church meeting. Please check your Sunday bulletins for church bulletin boards and church bulletin boards for events and other information. Union Baptist Temple Church, honoring our local mothers. The host and hostesses ministry of UBT invites you to fellowship with us at our annual Mother's Day breakfast, which will be Saturday, May the 9th, 2015. Breakfast is at 8.30. Uh, the program starts at 10 a.m. Guest speaker will be Reverend Jody Burroughs. Second Baptist uh, Church, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 08401. Free will offering. For more information, please call office, area code 609-345-4314, or contact um, Sean Marie Hinton, chairperson. Amen? Amen. Uh, congratulations to Dequan a, a. Edmonds, the grandson of the late Deacon Jesse Edmonds and Deaconess Lenore Edmonds, who will graduate from North Carolina University on May 9th of this year with a degree. <laughs> she will graduate this year with a degree in sports management. The Union Baptist Temple Church family is cordially invited to celebrate this joyous occasion with the Edmonds family at the home of Egg Harbor Township, no, Egg Harbor City, at 4 p.m. on Saturday, May 23rd, 2015. Please see Deaconess Lenore Edmonds if planned to attend. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior. Congratulations again to all Union Baptist Temple 2015 graduating high school seniors. There is an official registration form located in the church main office. Please remember to complete the registration information requested on a scholarship form and a in addition, you must complete the required, required application to receive consideration for the winter scholarship. Copies are available in the church clerk's or main office. The breakfast will be held on the first Sunday in June. That date is June 7, 2015. All applications must be returned by April 30th with all necessary attachments. Many thanks in advance for your cooperation. To God be the glory. I specifically saved this for last because this is our Come Celebrate With Us, Reverend Dr. Ezekiel Granbe on his 27th pastoral anniversary. <laughs> Amen. Uh, theme, The Gift From God, Jeremiah 315, Sunday, May 3rd, 2015. Come celebrate his 27 years of service to the Union Baptist Temple in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Service for this day will be 8 a.m. Reverend Brother Samuel Giles, our very own. Uh, amen, amen, we can clap for him. And then 11 a.m. will be Reverend David Mosell. Amen. 2.30 p.m. C.W. Smith, mediator of the Bethany Baptist, moderator, I'm sorry. 
Thank you, moderator of the Bethany Baptist Association, along with the chair of uh, chair, uh, choir and musicians. Uh, we are inviting all that will be attending the 2.30 p.m. service to join our pastor and the First Lady for the fellowship dinner in our uh, dining hall. Please see our ushers for your love offering envelopes. Thank you, anniversary committee. These are your announcements, amen? And then if anyone else uh, have anything, if not, you will hear from anybody from the, uh, the pulpit or any pastor or any deacon, amen? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, all men, I just need you for five minutes after the service in the front, right up here. All, all men. Thank you. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. And I just think about the goodness of the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. If anyone had a birthday or anniversary since last Sunday, they're so pleased to have. Birthday or anniversary? Amen. I stand for my mom, so we good. Amen. Visitors this morning. Anyone visiting with us this morning? So please stand. Give your name and church affiliation. Amen. Amen. Amen.
king Oh, the riches of this land Oh, no And I'm not asking Oh, that I mean No
Me too. Good morning. Good morning. What a gracious and pleasurable experience it is to be a part of the service as we have experienced it so far. Amen. Amen. Choir, my hat's off to you. Sing all you want to sing. <laughs> I, 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 uh, Bear with me just a second. I um, want to exercise my per pastoral prerogative. Uh, yes, uh, by executive order. You know, uh, um, uh, and I wanted to uh, recognize, first of all, that all of the musicians, we're grateful for all of you. Uh, but I wanted to use my authority this morning to signal out one musician among the musicians um, for uh, his uh, skill and for his ability uh, and for uh, the instrument that he plays, and that is Brother Joe Brown, who plays a trumpet. I'm going to name him Musician of the Month. There's something about the trumpet that, that lends an aura uh, of uh, celebration, uh, the proclamation of victory. Uh, the trumpet makes it sound official. And so I uh, want to do that. Thank God for him. And we're, we're pleased and privileged that Union to call him our own. We're gracious. Thank you for that. I uh, want to acknowledge the persons and the presence of uh, Brother Speedy Marsh and Brother uh, uh, Kaleem Shabazz. Uh, they, they're here and, and um, we're happy to have them in our midst this morning. I'm assuming, uh, I haven't heard officially yet, but I'm assuming since by past experience, I'm assuming that they are standing for office. Uh, uh, amen. <laughs> All right. So we want to acknowledge that and encourage for them uh, your, considered, uh, your considered response. Um, thank God for you. Amen. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in, well, in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen. Amen. The elder unto the elect lady whom I love in truth. Verse 1 of Second John and the fourth verse um, says that um, I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing because I have found your children, some of your children walking in truth in the commandment of God. Uh, so we want to focus on uh, those two verses of this passage. And I begin by suggesting that it's an amazing thing that the church uh, survived that incubation period, which was the first century. It's amazing that the seed planted by Jesus and the apostles took root and began to grow and to prosper. And that in spite of all of the hostile forces that was arrayed against it. It's just amazing that the church was able to survive uh, the pressures that came from without, opposition that they met that came from without, and the fears and apprehensions within that operated within the fellowship. They, they, they never knew when someone was going to sell out 
the movement. When someone was going to um, uh, prove disloyal uh, to the brotherhood. Uh, and so it's, um, it is amazing and it is a, an evidence of God's grace that the church survived. And not only that she survived, but she prospers. And to this day, you, you are evidence, your presence in the church. Uh, is evident of the keeping ability of God uh, to keep his church in spite of all opposition that is arraigned against it. And maybe it's just that sentiment that the hymn writer had in mind when he said, Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. T'was grace that brought me safe thus far. And grace shall lead me on. Uh, 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 God's amazing grace has kept the church from forces from without and uh, forces from within. Uh, from, from, the, from the onslaught of hostile powers uh, and, and the opposition of evil men and wicked men with wicked designs, in spite of all of that, I'm happy to be a part of a church that not only survives, but that prospers. Apparently, uh, Second John is the product of an encounter between the Apostle John and some members of the church, presumably the Jerusalem church. Uh, 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 a, a chance encounter in the marketplace. Uh, John ran into some fellows that he recognized, some members that he recognized from the mother church. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, they, they, they only had a few, a few moments, but I, I can imagine that them being devout, mo devout Christians filled those moments with talk about the goodness of God. Uh, uh, gave them a, 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 a report of the uh, health of the church uh, and the state of the church and said, uh, we want you to know that the church is doing just fine. Uh, yes, yes, we've got our troubles like other congregations, but we want you to know that, uh, that we're still holding on. We're still, we're still holding on to the instruction that we were given by the apostles upon our founding. We are still walking in the love which God commanded. We're still holding on. Uh, uh, we, we've had some difficult days. We've had some difficult times, but we're still holding on. Yes, we, uh, there, 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 there's been times when uh, some have fallen out with one another, but we have been able to hold together. Even in the face of pressure and opposition, we're still, John said, I, it, it thrills me. Yeah, verse 4, he says, it, uh, it, it, it fills me with joy to see you still walking in the commandment of God. To see you still holding together and loving one another. Nothing pleases God more than to see his children. Amen. Amen. Uh, get along. Amen. Amen. Uh, it, it's bad enough when strangers fight, but when we start fighting among ourselves. Uh, amen. When, 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 yes, we acknowledge that there's opposition from without, but when there's opposition from within... The, the, those who won't go along with the program, uh, those who, who got an agenda, pursuing agenda of their own, the, the, those who cause friction among brothers, uh, 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 biting and devouring one another, that, 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 that's a feast that the Lord doth not desire, but it brings joy to his heart. Amen. When we can, when we can prove the devil a liar, and get along with one another. Amen. Uh, so uh, he said, uh, uh, this, this is just, I, I'm going to write you a brief note. So, excuse the brevity of the note, but I, I just want to make a few observations right now. Uh, and later on, when the Lord brings us together again, 
We'll, we'll talk about it in greater length. But for right now, I want you to know that my heart is overjoyed. Because you are, I found some of your children. Amen. I, so, some of them that are your children. I, I, I found some, some of them from union, folks. I, 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 I found some of them, uh, amen, still walking in love, amen, after all these times, after all these years, I, 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 I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm overjoyed to, to see that, uh, uh, that, that some of them, uh, amen, that, that, that some of them are still uh, uh, supporting the church. Uh, so, so some of them must still look forward to coming out there on Sunday morning and sitting side by side and rejoicing. Some of them, they, they, some for, I, I know some of them have fallen away, but thanks God there's still some. Uh, yes, uh, that, that, that they are still found in the fellowship and in the joy of the Lord. What a, what a fellowship. Uh, what a joy divine, Le leading on the everlasting arms. Uh, I, I, I'm thrilled, I, I'm joyed, uh, and uh, uh, I'm happy to see that you are not only loving the, uh, 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 the Lord, but you also uh, love the church. Uh, you love the church, and you've given it first place in your affections. Uh, and in your loyalty, you've given first place. To the church. Uh, uh, we're supposed to do that, you know. Amen. 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 We, 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 we've got a creed, may I remind you? We've got a covenant that we have agreed by. And that covenant says that we are to give first place. We are to give a uh, 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 loyalty to the church first place. Give the church first place in our affections. We are to honor it and cherish it above all institutions of human creation. Amen. We're not supposed to love anything more than we love the church. Amen. The church, the church uh, is, uh, no wonder he called it the elect lady. Uh, uh, amen. The, the elect lady whom I love in truth. I love the church. Uh, amen. Because I love Jesus. And because Jesus died for the church, I, I love the, uh, the church. Uh, 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 so so, 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 so the, the aged apostle, uh, the elder, uh, writes briefly a brief note to, the, uh, to, the, to, to, to some of the members of the church uh, that he had encountered. In a chance counter encounter in the marketplace, and said, "It does my heart good. Does my heart glad to find uh, you still walking in truth. Uh, it, it's a good thing uh, to recognize uh, how far the Lord has brought you. He, he brought you to stage perfection, not 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 absolute perfection yet." But to stage, uh, 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 you, you are where you ought to be. Amen. Amen. At this time in your experience. Uh, I, I, I'm happy to acknowledge that, he said. But, but I've, got to, I've got to tell you, knowing our adversary. Uh, 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 ver, verse 7, I've, I've got to tell you that you've you got to be on your P's and Q's. N now is not the time to slack up. Uh, amen. But to tighten up. Uh, and now is not the time. Amen. To allow uh, old differences and old wounds uh, uh, be stirred in you. And now is not the time uh, to fall out with one another. Because the devil is watching all the time. And he's just looking for an opportunity. Uh, yeah. he, he's just looking for the right moment to pounce uh, and to spring and to catch some unsuspecting member unaware yeah. and use them like he used Judas. Yeah. Uh, amen. Uh, so he said, uh, look, be, the, the, re recognize this, that many deceivers 
have gone out into the world. Many deceivers have gone out into the world. Uh, uh, I, we noted at Bible study the other night that, 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 that Jesus sent out, uh, amen, his apostles. He, he commissioned them to preach the gospel and he sent them out. Uh, he sent the, 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 the gospels record that he sent out the apostles and he also sent out uh, 70 others. Uh, amen. Uh, later on, and, 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 and he would keep on sending uh, into the field missionaries, preachers, and teachers, uh, he, sending them out. But at the same time, there was a sending that was not holy and, uh, as, and intense, with intention as Christ's sending was. But, but the devil also has some missionaries. Amen. But, but the devil also has some preachers and teachers that he has sent forth into the world. Think of it as a chess match with, with a check and checkmate. The, the devil tried to checkmate. Amen. Jesus uh, and many deceivers, many false teachers, many uh, pervert, uh, per twisters of the truth have gone out into the world and, and they are busy too. That, that's why the church can't sit on her laurels. Cannot rest on her laurels because the, the devil's emissaries are busy too. Amen. If, if, you, if you're honest and you're willing to confess it, amen, you know it's true. Uh, amen. It's as true as that fight you had this morning. Amen. Uh, True as that phone call you hung up on. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, the devil is still busy. Uh, amen. Uh, when he prompts you to view your favorite program rather than picking up the Bible and reading about God's program and how you can apply it to your life. The devil's still busy. He said many deceivers have gone out into the world. Uh, so beware. Be on your guard, uh, be on your guard that uh, he does not deceive you and by that deception defraud you of a full reward. Amen. That he does not deprive you uh, and deceive you of a full reward. St. Paul, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, um, he talks about the judgment, the judgment that awaits uh, the people of God. Yes, we, we, we acknowledge and recognize that there is a judgment day. Amen in which sinners will stand. Yeah. Amen. In which sinners will stand and be judged for their sins. At the great white throne judgment. But there is also the, the New Testament teaches uh, that, 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 uh, that all of us, that believers, all, all of those who are believers and followers of Christ must stand before the judgment seat of Christ. To be judged, what? For our sins? No. Thank, thank, thanks, thanks be to God. I talked about that last Sunday. How, uh, amen. How, how the fires of judgment have already burned uh, on this spot where I'm standing. Eh? Amen. And if you're standing in the spot of salvation, the fires of judgment have already burned away and made uh, ashes uh, of any judgment or judgmental plans that was waiting for you. Uh, God have canceled that uh, and he put out the flames of the fire by the blood of his own son. Uh, he's taken care of the judgment for sin. But what we were stand for, standing for before the seat for the most the judgment seat of Christ. What we are standing for now is not the judgment of our sins, but the judgment of our works. Amen. 
uh, the quality and kind, uh, not, not necessarily the quantity, amen, but, but, but the quality, uh, not, not how many, uh, but of what quality, uh, uh, the quality of our works. If any man, he said, uh, other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, and that foundation is Jesus Christ. If any man would build upon that foundation, use as materials of wood and hay and stubble instead of gold and silver and fine gold, that every man's work shall be tried by the fire. Amen. And the fire will test of what quality those works are. If a man's work survives, he shall receive a reward. Amen. But if his works do not survive but and are burned up, he shall be saved. The man shall be saved. God, God is not in the business. Amen. He's not in the business. Uh, amen. Of ju judgment is his strange work. Uh, judgment is his strange work. Strange work. Mercy is his main work. Amen. Amen. Uh, he shall be saved, but as by fire. I remember the first time that uh, this uh, that verse, these verses, gripped my imagination. Um, when I read about uh, if, a, if a man's works are tested by the fire and uh, they do not survive the fire, but the man does, it came to my mind the image uh, of a family that I saw once that had been burned out uh, of their house. Um, what, what few belongings, what few belongings they could get out with was there a smoking ruin on the sidewalk. The fire flames had been put out, but smoke was still rising from the structure. It had been put out by the fire hoses. Amen. But uh, the people, what made that tragedy uh, not, not so great as it uh, could have been, was the fact that those in, who had been inside escaped with their lives. Amen. That, that, that's the first concern. We, we, we can replace. Amen. Material goods. Amen. Uh, some of it we, we, we didn't need. Anyway, that's right. And all of us, you can't take any of it. Amen. Uh, amen. I, I, I've never seen a U-Haul following the hearse to the cemetery. Amen. You, you, you cannot take it with you. <laughs> amen. Heap it up as high as you want. Tell yourself like the man in the parable, soul, you've got much goods laid up for many years. But beware of the echo that will fall on your ear, you fool. Tonight is your soul. Not your stuff. Your soul is required of you. So, uh, so he says, take heed that the devil doesn't cheat you out of a full reward. Amen. Amen. And then as he closes, uh, he says, uh, I'm writing with pen and ink. Amen. I'm, I'm writing you with pen and ink right now. But, but, I, but pen and ink is not sufficient. To say all that is in my heart. I, I'm going to save that. And, 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 and if I know the Lord, he will bring us together soon. And what a time. What a time. It's going to be. 
when we see one another face to face. Face to face with Christ my Savior. Far beyond the starry sky. Face to face in all his glory. I shall see him by and by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice care all past a home at last ever to me say that again oh oh i want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice Care all past Home at last Ever to rejoice As I journey through the land There will be love Pointing souls to Calvary and the crimson flow many arrows is my soul from without the wind but my lord lead me on through him i do it oh no to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice here all past oh my last look at him when in service for my lord Dark may be the night, but I'll cling more close to him. He will give me light. Snake trying to stairs me, vex my soul, turn my thoughts aside. But my Lord, he will all help ever be tied. Oh, and oh, I want to look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on oh, the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice, kill all past. Home at last.
Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for what we've received here today in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that walking in your truth protects us from the deceiver. We thank you that only knowing the truth can protect us from the counterfeit. We thank you that you've deposited truth in our heart. We thank you that your salvation is sufficient in every situation. And because you have ordained us to good works, we have happy hearts forgiving. We thank you that the offering is such an important part of showing our love for you. Thank you for making us who we are. Thank you for continuing to make us who we should be. Thank you for receiving from us. Amen. be 